I'm Steve Dynan, CEO of Carbon. I'm Jeff Westfall, product strategist. And welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about sway bar drop links. So sway bar drop links can be purchased whether you buy a high performance sway bar or not, but most people will buy them with the bar. And what a drop link is basically, it's a part that connects the anti-roll bar to the suspension on the car. And what an anti-roll bar basically does is, when the car leans, it resists the leaning by not wanting to twist. And I'm not strong enough to do it. Uh, but what it, this does is because of the way the car, it will bend and the stiffer the bar, the less the car will roll. And that's basically how you're stopping the roll. Also, the thicker the bar, the more resistance there is. Yes, yeah. Um, so anyway, the, the OEM links are fixed in length. And the reason they do this is because one, they don't want to take the time to adjust the length of the drop link in production when they're coming off the assembly line. Saves labor hours. It saves labor hours and build time on the assembly line is huge. Plus, anti-roll bars on, a, on a OEM ones are kind of soft compared to aftermarket bars, and the bushings are rubber yeah. as opposed to urethane. Right. But when you put a high-performance anti-roll bar in your car and you put a urethane bushing on, there's a lot less give, and then the slight variance in uh, the flex of the bar is noticeable. You also have different tolerances and spring heights, right? Like a yes. manufacturing tolerance on metals is generally 3% or less, but 3% yeah. can mean a couple millimeters higher or, or shorter on one side or the other. Yeah, and what causes the preload or the bar to be twisted is the spring on one side is a little bit shorter than the other one. And even if an adjustable right height is a threaded collar, when you set the corner weight, sometimes they're just a little bit different in length. And yep. this causes the bar, bar to be slightly flexed in one direction versus the other. Yep. Uh, and what that does, it causes it to understeer in one direction, oversteer in the other direction, because yeah. the bar is already preloaded in one direction. Right. Uh, again, on the anti-roll bar stock, there's a lot more give, so it's a lot less noticeable. Correct. And the springs are softer, everything's softer on yeah. the car. So the point of this is, you put the fixed one on one side, you take that, sure, and the adjustable on the other side, and you put that one in, and then you adjust this one up and down until there's no no flex or bend the bar, the bolt just goes straight in the hole without any pressure on it. Right, no now tension you, when you're as no assembling tension, it. Yes. Now you only need one because one fixed and one adjustable is all you need because you're setting the overall preload of the entire bar. Yep. Some people buy a pair because these are beautiful anodized black and they look really cool and they just want a match set. But yeah. we sell them one front, one rear as a pair, to save you money because you only need one to get the preload out of the bar. Correct. So in conclusion, I hope this helps you understand how anti-roll bar drop links help keep your car bouncing left or right. Whether you're a track day person or whether you just like to drive fast on country roads like I do, this helps you get the most out of your car. Thank you for joining us today on Tech Tip Tuesday and subscribe so you can catch future uh, videos on things that Carbon is up to. And if you're ready to take your suspension handling to the next level, you can buy all these products online at carbon.com or find a local installer near you.